Okay, so we're going to make a beautiful high definition video of this engine now that I pretty much finished tweaking it and I um, have got it running uh, nice and slow, which is what I like. So we're going to put a little bit of oil in it and start it up. I've run this engine many, many times. If you look at my video of um, if you look at my video of taking out the piston, you'll see the piston was covered in oil um, and and you know crap because yeah I've, I've put nearly a liter of petrol through this I've used 95 octane petrol and I've used um, fuel light the stuff you get to you know your stuff you get in a bottle that's colorless supposedly petrol but I've heard now that that is um, around 60 octane instead of the 95 octane of um, normal petrol I'm using and I certainly notice that the uh, low octane rating gives the engine less power and therefore uh, long, it, it, it goes bang 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 rather than bang 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 yeah I like that nice slow experience that reminds me so much of these machines at the um, country show when I was a kid so Th this is running just how I like it. Um, it's got the bronze bushes instead of the original worn out bearings and a number of other mods that you've seen in some of my other videos. Um, but we're going to do a beautiful run in the sun right now. It's still really easy to start. Sometimes it can take a bit of warming up. And sometimes my hand is covered in oil and I can't grip it. So we've got the whole, um, okay, so look, it's shaking the whole table, which is a pain. I'm going to try and reduce that, but um, yeah, there's a little switch under there. You can see a little bit of smoke coming from uh, the exhaust in the sun, exhausts down here. I'm going to pick up the camera because we got so much shake from the table wiggling or the whole engine wiggling because it's on rubber rubber washers and wheels so that's a really nice slow running speed And as you can see, we've got a little generator here. The generator is from the CD drive from an old computer. I don't remember what. Uh, I think it, it might have been the tray loading mechanism. We're just going to stop this. By holding the valve open. And we're going to hook up this little generator. Start it back up. And you'll find that it, it doesn't run. Uh, so it's shorter time between each, um, each of those pops. And the LED is... Um, the LED is... Uh, Shining away there. Oh my god, we've got a cat hair invasion. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So, 
This unit up here is from a handheld, uh, hand-powered torch. So it's got a built-in uh, capacitor, and uh, it, it, it seems to work very well with this little electric motor working as a generator. Um, as you've seen in my other videos, we've got a few modifications of this cheap Chinese engine. Obviously the base, the wheels, this power takeoff. Uh, this has probably been... This has probably been the most important. It's so much easier to start if you know uh, exactly where that is. Rather than having just the wee knob and you're not sure if you've even turned it with your big sausage fingers. Okay, so again I'm going to turn it off by holding the valve open rather than turning off the electricity. That way I don't end up, don't end up with a whole lot of unburnt fuel inside it. And then I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> 